Hello ladies and men and welcome to Paragon and the Epsilon Tournament. Woo woo! We here to the left in the blue we have Team EG Black. And we have the players uh, Kevo as Murdoch, Rip as TB, Kraft as Feng Mao once again, uh, Pak Termed as Decker and Karius as the steel. And on the other side we have team Autism B, we have Klingos as the TB, we have Snort as the Muriel, Glacier UK as Rampage, Bloody Mordius as the Grim. Was that all? Yeah. And the Pask Boxy as the Sparrow. Whoop whoop. And some offensive wards going down here in the beginning. As per usual, you can see the sea of wards put that out here by Team Oxygen B. And oh, what is this nasty business? Oh, is this a bit of a hidey hidey please? Look at this sneaky guys! They are trying new tactics here. A very full uh, warded force here for them though. So yeah, we are going to see if they are going to... Pr I'm guessing this should resolve with a so-called kind of push hard on the right here. And oh, the steel is kind of giving away the position now, though. Maybe he ran through the wards. What do you see here? Here comes the mini wave, here comes the full team. They are going to try to kind of do the same study I think they did last time, where they are getting the tower fairly, fairly, quickly, fairly quickly here on the right. And looks like Team Oxygen B is going to try to get the mid. So uh, here comes the trade. Have it all because the lane minus comes faster to the mid here. Actually resolves in Oxygen B having that tower before the EG Black does. And there is that one dead, and there goes the other one. Okay, they are going for second tower as well. Hello to somebody. Oh, there is the hunt. And they did get him out of position there, the decker, and there comes an error to the wall. This is a bit of a hard um, force push here, that's for sure. And we are moving out. Okay, are they still pushing? Where did everyone go? Oh, there they are. They are hiding from me. I shall get them. And uh, yeah. Team Ocean B here moving out. Very nice. We see the um, EG Black here coming in. Taking the blue buff. We're seeing the, of course, Ocean B are kind of moving back here to the right and doing the same. Uh, the question is, are we going to see an invasion from any of the teams here? Of course, the forest of both sides are highly led with uh, with um, uh, wards. Okay, we see them now over at the white camp, I would assume here. Oh, that was just a couple of minutes. Yeah, they're moving over here to the red side. Or black side, if you will. If you are preferring to say that. Uh... And there ha we have the orbs getting killed, and looks like the same here for uh, Oxygen B. Kind of a little bit of a mirror match in terms of the situation here, which is ca quite common uh, right now in the current, I guess, meta, if you will. Where the teams... Um, it, it, it's so common that you do the whole 4 situation because of the buffs you get there and the orbs. However though! This decker is uh, fairly out of position here. If they see this move quickly enough here, Oxygen B, they could get some nice kills here. Could definitely be a fight here. They shouldn't see this coming. This could be devastating for Team EG Black here. Oh, oh that's not actually a good Q there from Blood Morris. A good stun there from EG Black, actually. They are definitely getting out there handling this well so far. Some damage getting taken out from the decker, duking a couple of shots. This was not a good engagement here from Team Oxygen. Uh, B getting one kill there, where it should almost have been three kills there. Uh, it was definitely a good engagement here when they come from the side, but that Q actually from uh, the Grim here with the Blamurus kind of put it on too far back here, and that definitely did help EG Black out uh, more than it uh, helped Oxygen B out. If might have been the intention, but yeah. Well, well, that's uh, a kill uh, situation could, that could have been a three kill for uh, Oxygen B became at least a one kill there. Uh, forest are being up. Uh, uh, forest mid lane is getting a bit pushed in here. We're seeing Snort out up over here with the Merlin in the other lane to get that five level as fast as possible. A bit of a misplay here, probably from the uh, steal of the EG Black side. I'm not sure what happened here, but there he goes down at least. 
Good job here from Oxygen B. Take it, getting now and comes the Deckerin. I'm not sure what he's doing. This is uh, could be a uh, uh, that's a risky move. That's for sure a risky move. Jumping in that like that and uh, doing that stun, if you will. In the meantime, we are seeing a very calm left lane over here. Dude uh, says my phone. I'm guessing it was nothing important. And yeah, here is Nort on the mirrors having the blast of his time. Watching the flowers, watching <laughs> the minions die. He's not pushing the lane as you can see here. He's mostly trying probably to get some last hits uh, here and there with the Muriel to get the XP. And CXP. Uh, because if he pushes this lane too hard down, it become, he becomes uh, kind of like a target. So he's probably, probably just trying to get the last hits off here uh, with Muriel, which is uh, going uh, s uh, like so so, I guess. Wait, do we see if he managed to get them? Let's see here. And that was two. Oh, there we got the one. Yeah, so we see the balls actually coming. Here comes the enemy team. And this is why he doesn't push that far. And, of course, he has a war down here. So it helps out, of course. Uh, but, yeah, that's why you don't want to push that hard in a lane when you're trying to basically farm the lane for the XP and CXP. Um, yeah, playing off his doing some, do, how do we have it farm wise here for the carries? Nine, nine, and uh, oh, um, yeah, uh, seeing a bit of an, uh, of course, of, uh, of a leader. We can see it in the kills as well, it's two to zero. And, uh, yeah, I'm guessing the harvest as well. I don't want to press the, the map up for you guys, because this game actually have finished. Um, a lot of uh, the, the games that are we are watching right now are happening at the same time as I'm recording them. Uh, so some of them I am recording at the same time as they are live, and uh, because I'm going to do all of the games actually this time or try at least, mm, some of them are getting finished before I am having a chance to get into them and start recording them. Uh, so I basically just don't want to show you guys the timer of the game, which shows actually when the game. Ended, uh, because then you, it, can, it, it doesn't become a spoiler in a direct sense, but it becomes like, an, okay, this is how the game goes, this is how the game, uh, and uh, how the timer is. So you can make kind of like a assumption uh, of the time at that point. So that's why I'm uh, keeping it up and just showing the half bar as it is right now. The best thing would probably be if you could just take away the timer bar uh, for these kind of situations. It's very early still in the game cycle, We don't, so a lot of things would probably happen. A uh, very nice little uh, drafting system were, are coming up probably, so we are going to see a lot of new things in the Paragon universe. A nice little rotation here from Team uh, EG Black here. I says as I'm starting to drink and almost spills it out. Okay, Klinghoff should see this happening. Or are he going to stop him? There, oh, that's a miss actually, and there's another miss on the decker. That's a sick, oh, that's so many misses. Good stun there. From TD back and Merle comes in and looks like Blood Mortis should be killed though. Or are we getting a shield down? There comes the shield for Snort and the other second shield and they get out of it. Where is the Murdoch ulti though? Was that used actually? Uh, yeah, good save there. Muriel MVP. Here comes the. Oh, what did that. Okay, that was a rock from over there. Yeah. Uh, he definitely did use pots there, I'm assuming. With the, yeah, he has pots here, Blood Mordius has potions, which why you see him coming up in health here. And uh, that that was a great... Uh, yeah, uh, it was a good engagement from E.D. Black, in my opinion there. Uh, they were looked like they were lacking a bit of damage. I don't know if they put it out all the ultis there, or a build that, that they could have used. Uh, of course, they are lacking ultis here, as you see, three people without ultis. So, so yeah, the murder couldn't have used ulti, as I was talking about when we were watching over here, because he's actually not the level for it. Didn't see if the Fangma was here to do his ulti. So, definitely, they are a bit, they are in a card disadvantage and level to some degree, which means that they are not going to be able to push out the same kind of damage as Team Oxygen B here on, in the orange. Which is too bad for them, because that engagement was um, great, was used some damage that were lacking. The murder comes in and kind of screws them over with all the shields. Which is bound to happen when you're facing a murder. <laughs> Muriel, whoa! Sometimes, I swear, it feels like my heart is going to pop out when I, hic when I get hiccups. It's basically a combination of hiccups and a burp. 
It's like, whoops. And yeah. Okay, how is the warding situation looking here for both teams? As we see though, I have seen on uh, some of the games now here from Team uh, Oxygen, actually from both the Oxygen teams, I would say, both A and the B team. Uh, warding is uh, very hard in the beginning. And uh, then, of course, they are losing it a bit. Of course, that's bound to happen because you get a lot more ob objectives. So that's just natural. Uh, everything be becomes harder to c keep track of, uh, track off, and keep the warding up. Uh, but we are seeing uh, just one board here from uh, EG Black, I think. A uh, little uh, glazed UK got cut out. I dodged the stone there. Fairly nice from uh, Pack Helmet. I'm butchering names all week long here on the Dexter channel. Come by. Watch me butch butcher names in the game. <laughs> and yeah. I'm wondering though. Oh, yeah, they should be able to see that word. I'm guessing though that I don't want to go out and grab it because of that kind of a lingering danger. Which is on poking here from Pascal and the Decker. They are a bit spread out there, as you see. Both teams are kind of actually spread out in a long kind of line here <laughs> across the map. Oh, oh, that they could get him caught out. That's a good stun. Oh, here comes a follow up. The two misses, and that's an ult actually. But it looks like the deck could go down anyway because she caught herself in it. And there's a free blue. And uh, yeah, there comes the steal. He was probably trying to come here uh, to help out, but that wasn't bound to happen. A good Q there. And here comes the ulti. Okay, he's a, it's an escape ulti. The Murdoch is taking some damage here, and he's going to die. Here. There comes one shot from the team, and he's dead. And the steal should be getting killed here from. Glazed UK and uh, the Sparrow. Uh, yeah, they, 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 as we saw, they were trying to recap the moment, so to say. They were in a big line here, Team Oxygen, and uh, definitely EG Black had kind of the similar line they used across the map here. But it did come down to kind of the situation where uh, the Decker from EG Black did get, definitely get caught out uh, and got stunned. And then the team was fast there to con kind of collapse on it, and then Team yeah, EG Black were coming from uh, the the worst angles, I guess. Uh, of course, they are always wor more worst angles, but they will come from different angles that were not suitable for the kind of situation they were in. Uh, which definitely didn't help there when they come from the side. With, when the Decker was almost really dead, so they come here from the side of the seal and the Murdoch, and that was basically too late at that time. If they have had been here, they would probably have been a little bit of another situation, of course. I, I think still that the Decker would probably have died. It was a lot of damage here from uh, Oxygen B, but it's, um, yeah, it's... Um oh, it comes the ulti though, and now oh, that's so close. Uh, and that's a Q that, that doesn't hit. Yeah, they did switch out, if you are not aware. Uh, before the patch that happened uh, around five days ago, I guess, um, the Decker ulti actually stopped the uh, Grim ulti. It doesn't do anymore. Do we have the Buffy? I guess that's what Glazed UK was trying to do over here. Yeah, he has the orb on him. And uh, Snorty is side pushing. And he was basically trying to get a turn in here. They are getting free push though here. So I would imagine that their plan are like, okay, you guys push on the left here with the three man, have fun, and um, yeah, we are going to linger in the right here until they kind of let us come through in there. We have a uh, kind of nicely put ward here, which is going to get used fairly soon here now. Here comes uh, some people, okay, here comes the kind of situation where they need to p pay attention to the ward here, and there we, okay, we see directly here, Blue Mortis is turning here because he see the pings on the ward, and he misses his Q, it looks like, actually here, and lots of damage coming down there. Uh, the Sparrow is not being there. Decker is kind of hunting here. And yeah, it doesn't look like they had the speed there. And uh, maybe it was a miss there by Blood Murders with the uh, Grim Q. Not sure. Uh, some, oh, that's a lot of damage. That was definitely a crit there. And comes an arrow and that's a Q. Oh, that's an interesting bounce with around 1 HP. <laughs> that extract amount of damage calculated, uh, he says, when he runs out of the battle. A uh, lot of damage still though coming down here on the tower. And we see a two man situation on the right. Still the primal is not turned in here. Uh, they did get the minions are not here anymore though. So they are making this push as best that they can. Without the minions. Here comes the minion wave though. L we will see if the female can defend this. this. They are still not turning in the right side primal here. Um, oh, that's a lot of damage there from on the carriers. A lot of damage being taken though by the Fang out there. Oh, that's a miss on all everyone from the steel as he's moving out. Uh, which, oh yeah, n we don't know. Did it say if they disappeared? We are watching this side. Uh, looks like Blaze UK is, UK is getting stunned over there. 
Looks like they are moving out here. Let's go move over and see if he actually has the orb anymore. I would imagine. Oh yeah, it should be on its last minutes though. And yeah, its towers are still here, so that's why they need to go through the forest, which is definitely a harder way to go. Okay, are we going to get an inhibitor here though? They are probably making the push. It looks like they're making a the push there on the right. A lot of damage coming down here on the decker from uh, Klinghoffer and Tasuke. There's a lot of damage here. Some of the... Yeah, this, this hurt when these three guys hit something, especially at the card level that they are at and level... Uh, use ordinary level that they are at as well. Uh, they need to put one more guy over here, but this is working fairly nicely so far for ED Black here. He lost the tower. Lost the tower, but the primal buff orb, I mean, haven't been turned in though, which is an important aspect for them right now. We're seeing a switcher though uh, from Team Oxygen B. And we can still see her. Uh, oh, yeah, the orb is gone now. Yeah, good defense there from ED Black. Having two people on the defense inside here on the right. Uh, mainly the angle because this uh, he can jump over. The rampant can definitely jump over most of this. He can kind of jump from there to around here, I think, and kind of tank it if you have to. But he can't do it whilst people are shooting or doing damage on him. So this is more the optional route to the forest to just run in there. And they hold it nicely. It's black there. So the rampant couldn't turn it in. And so yeah, one tower for that, and that's definitely something they uh, should be happy about on the EG Black side here against Oxygen B. And now we see the kind of return here, they are coming out on the map again whilst they have been buying cards. And uh, yeah, we can definitely see the card this and you can see the carries here on the Oxygen B side are definitely in a big card lead if you compare to the carries on the other side end level as well. Uh, let's check some of the unmarked cards here. We have Blood Mortis here. Most of these cards you know, so we are going over to cling off here. We have a Flash Fire Piston, uh, Brand of the Iron Eater, and Blade of Agora, which is not a strike token. Uh, Feral Stone there, and then we have the Breastbill Plate, and then it's Impact Hammer, Flash Fire Piston. We see a lot of the same cards here. Uh, that's for sure. Okay, so they are making kind of like a second attempt here uh, of um, Oxygen B in terms of making some kills on the tower. They go probably decided that, okay this right tower it screwed us up too much in that turning off the primal we are going to get rid of it they did get the mid one though i think here yeah mid one did get killed there i think uh, so yeah we are the, kind of a tower trade here uh, they should not make this into a pushing fight though because ocean b will win that pushing fight so we see here when Team Easy Black comes back. This is a very dangerous... What, what, what is the Decker doing? Okay. That's interesting. Well, she kind of managed to get somewhat of a good ability off there. Ability off there. Buying times, I think, so far. But, yeah, that's a questionable uh, situation. Coming solo from the backside here. Fangma coming from the side. Making an ult. It was a oh, gash okay. -ish. It wasn't the best thing ever. And then the rest of the team is pushing a lane. Uh, looks like most of them are pulling back though. They did probably get second tower. Yeah, they got second tower and now they're moving back. Uh, so, they did what good. I would say though that just letting them take the tower and maybe try to make the stance here with the deck roll would be more useful. Done is done. It's their game. I can only theorize on what I think they are doing and the thought process behind it. But yeah, good job here for Oxygen B getting that inhi inhibitor down. Uh, EG Black got a tower, tire 2 tower down in return. Some XP there for sure for both teams and CXP. Otherwise, we're looking at uh, an inhibit kill probably maybe here on the right side. The lane is being uh, pushed uh, for a bit out though. And okay, yeah, we see the Oxygen B team here moving uh, back with most other people to probably buy cards and re regain the mana and we still see the kind of card uh, lead here on the side we are 19 minutes in so the question is because primal is up here are we going to see kind of like a primal try here and then go kind of for the finish now when they have taken out the right side and the tower is down uh, yeah they're definitely doing a lot of movement here we see Fame out here farming a bit and yeah, here it comes the movement. They are definitely setting up something here. And we see the wards coming down. We see the Kepo coming in here. And that's another ward there from the Muriel. This should indicate hardly though for Team EG Black that the Oxygen B are 
around here. And there, the Deku gets called out once again. Uh, this, though, was more of a call out that she didn't know they were in there, which she should have known because she showed the Muriel, Muriel being here against the Murdoch. So she, but yeah, that's being a bit aggressive there with the Deku and not having his uh, team with him definitely got a bit punishing there. And here goes the Primal, it's a level 2 Primal. Uh, the rest of the team kind of moving around here. It's not much they can do at this point from EG Black because of the level and card disadvantage. They kind of need to be a full team here to make this work. Uh, we're going to see how they deal though with this defense here this time uh, against the inhibitor. When Ashin B is going to attack. You can see the C here of wards, of course. And harvesters are most of them are on. I would oh, look at that. Yeah, it might be actually a bit of an even spread on the harvesters this time. And here it goes. The push continues. You can see this time they're using only Glaze UK there and not the Muriel as well. So they are one man more here, which is the support this time. That's a high put it up uh, ward, that's for sure. And when if they get oh, that's a lot of people oh, that they are using on the other side here to defend against the rampage. You can see the rampage just jumping over everyone, and there he ults and jumps, jumps again, and there it's turned in. Kadoink, and there it goes standing. him. In he was almost really dead. Uh, Gl Glaze Yuki with the rampage have done his work over there, and the damage is coming in here from Ops Oxygen B. This should be a finished game, so to say. And uh, you can see that damage from Klingoff. And there comes an ulti. Oh, they didn't fire off though. It comes an ulti steal. <laughs> an ulti steal and steal and steal ulti. And yeah, you can see the damage being taken here from Pascal. And there comes an ulti from Pascal and of the Sparrow as well. And that's a lot of damage. And that's GG. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and yeah, this was the Ocean B here on the orange side against ED Black. On the blue side, this was the second game in the best of three. Uh, I think we might be going over to a second game. I'm not sure. I think this was the last one, and they are moving on to the next round. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.